good morning students the subject we are going to discuss is cs8391 data structures today our topic is expression tree it comes under third unit the main objectives of this video are to learn about the concepts behind the expression tree and to solve problems in expression tree that is how to construct an expression tree these are the main objectives of this video before going into the topic first we have to know what is the definition of binary expression tree so it is a special kind of binary tree hope you remember the definition of binary tree what is binary tree when we say the tree as a binary tree for every node we can have zero or at most two children okay so this is an example for binary tree so it is a special kind of binary tree when that binary tree is called as an expression tree means here each leaf node contains operand okay so what is operand what is operator for example if i am going to evaluate c equal to a plus b so here equal to and plus are the operators c a and b they are the operands so in expression tree all the leaf nodes must be an operand and each non leaf node contains a single operator okay each non leaf node contains a single binary operator and moreover before evaluating the root node you have to evaluate its left subtree and then the right subtree then move on to the root node so this is the procedure for evaluation okay this one is an example for a four level binary expression tree as i told all the leaf nodes contain an operand and all the non leaf nodes contains operators okay and it is a binary tree so this one is another one example for binary expression tree so how this tree is evaluated means before evaluating the root its left subtree must be evaluated first then the right subtree then finally the root okay so how will you evaluate the left subtree it is 4 plus 2 then right subtree it contains only one operand tree and finally the root node so 4 plus 2 was 6 it is multiplied by 3 and finally we get the answer as 18 this is how a binary expression tree is evaluated okay so using the expression tree you can generate infix prefix postfix expressions very easily already we have discussed infix expression prefix expression and postfix expression okay so using the expression trees you can generate these expressions that is infix prefix and postfix just we recall what is in order traversal so in order traversal is nothing but node then root sorry it is left node then right so this one is in order traversal so print left subtree print the root node then finally print the right subtree okay so what is pre order traversal so pre order traversal means first the node is printed then we traverse the left subtree then we traverse the right subtree so this one is pre order traversal and what is post order first the left subtree is traversed then the right subtree is traversed finally the root node is traversed okay so then how will you construct an expression tree for example if we have an postfix expression 
okay it is given as an input how will you construct an expression tree from this postfix expression so this is our next topic so we have to read one symbol at a time from the postfix expression then you have to check whether that symbol is an operand or operator if the symbol is operand then you have to create a one node tree and a pointer to that tree is pushed down to the stack if the symbol is an operator then you have to pop two pointers from the stack okay they are named as t1 and t2 and you have to form one new tree with the root as the operator and t2 is its left child and t1 is its right child okay so for example let us assume an operator is plus so if it is an operator what we need to do we have to fetch two pointers from the stack and they are named as t1 and t2 and you have to form a new tree with the root as the operator and t2 is its left child and t1 is a right child after forming this new tree its pointer is again pushed down to the stack so this is the procedure for constructing an expression tree from the postfix expression okay so once again first we have to read one symbol at a time from the postfix expression then check whether the symbol is an operand or operator if the symbol is operand create a one node tree and push a pointer onto the stack if the symbol is operator then pop two pointers from the stack and name them as t1 and t2 then create a new sub new tree and this new tree's root is an operator and its left child is t2 and right child is t1 after the creation of the new tree its pointer is again pushed down to the stack okay we will see with one example so here the expression given is a b plus c star so what is my first step i have to read one symbol at a time from the postfix expression so the first symbol is a the first symbol is a check that symbol is it an operator or operand it is an operand so if it is an operand you have to create a one node tree like this okay then a pointer to that tree is pushed down to the stack then again read the another symbol check whether it is an operator or operand again it is an operand so what i need to do i have to create a one node tree after creating the tree its pointer is pushed down to the stack so go with the next symbol it is plus if it is an operator you have to fetch two operands from the stack okay you have to fetch two operands from the stack and they are named as t1 and t2 so after fetching the two operands okay so what are the two operands we have fetched a and b after fetching the two operands you have to create a new tree its root is the operator that is the incoming operator and its left child is t2 and its right child is t1 again push its pointer into the stack okay once again i will explain so if it is an operator now the incoming operator is plus what we need to do we have to pop two op uh, two pointers from the stack so the two pointers are a and b okay so then form a new tree with the incoming operator and its left child is t2 and right child is t1 okay then again push its pointer into the stack so go with the next operand it is c 
since it is an operand we have to create a one node tree okay for this operand then push that pointer onto the stack what about the next op uh, next symbol the next symbol is star if it is an operator what we need to do we have to fetch two pointers so what are the two pointers the first pointer is this one so it is named as t1 and the second pointer is this one so it is named as t2 so what we have to do i have to create a new tree its root is the incoming operator and its right child is t1 so which one is right child t1 so it is c so c is its right child and its left child is t2 so it is plus a b so like this plus a b so after the creation of this tree again a pointer to this new tree is pushed on to the stack go with the next symbol since we have processed all the symbols in the given postfix expression the procedure gets completed and this one is the constructed expression tree for the given postfix expression okay so that's all these are some examples of gate questions and these are sample university questions what are expression trees and write the procedure for constructing an expression tree so with this i am concluding this video thank you very much